Hello everyone, today we are going to present to you the working prototype of our innovative idea, Safe Electric Board. My name is Shubham Kumar Singh from class 11 A Science and I have come up with this idea after seeing a faulty electric pole in my locality near our residential place. My name is Tishu Tome from 11 Science and I have collected the data to prepare the research paper for the project. My name is Yushan Kumar Singh and I am from class 10 and I have collected the materials which are required to make the model along with my mentor and my parents. The prototype of a project is safe electric pulse. Electric pulse usually supports high tension transmission lines by transporting electric current over long distances. But this electric pulse also possesses a great danger to those who come in contact with it uh, due to short circuit or some other damages in the insulated wires. According to NCRB, National Crime Records Bureau, 30 people are killed every day in India due to electrocution. Many deaths among these are due to faulty electric poles. Hardworking electricians lost their business life while trying to provide 24 into 7 electricity. Let me show you how does this model works. First of all, these are the two poles made up of aluminium. And these are the transmission lines. One is positive and one is for negative. And this wire, and this black wire we have to term as a faulty wire because this is the wire which will make the pole faulty. And we have termed this red color wire as conducting wire because this wire will be placed like and make in contact with the pole and this wire will conduct electricity from the faulty pole and transfer it to the alarm and the bulb so that whenever there is a guy in the pole, the alarm will burst and the bulb will blow. Let me show you the demonstration again. So now the power supply has been given. So now there is a current in this pole. But nobody can say whether there is current in this pole or not. So whenever anyone will come and uh, if anyone comes here and touch this pole, he or she might get uh, she might die also. So in order to avoid this kind of accidents, we will put our conducting wire with each and every pole. So that whenever there is a faulty, uh, faulty wire in contact with the pole, this alarm will burst and the bulb will blow. Let me show you. So as you have seen that whenever I'm, uh, whenever I'm making contact between this conducting wire and the pole, this alarm is buzzing and this bulb is glowing. And whenever and when, as soon as I will take this faulty wire out of it, uh, apart from the pole, then after making contact with this, the bulb will not glow and the buzzer will not buzz because there is no current in this pole now. So this is how our model works.